Hello everybody, my name is Nathan Sifu, and welcome to Mass Effect 3. Let's play. Okay, so now that we're back, we're just going to do a little bit more, uh... We're just going to do a little bit more exploring around the galaxy. See if there's any little interesting things to pick up. Hopefully there's another mission like last time. That was pretty cool. Get me through. Get me through. Commander, Dr. Chackles sent word that she'd like to speak with you down in the med bay. Oh, did she now? Okay, I guess we'll go do that first. We'll go do that first. What is Bork Bork? <laughs> oh, okay. oh, I see. <laughs> Okay, then, uh, whoops. Curious Sarah, Dr. Chuckles. Okay. All right, away we go. So what, what, is doc, what does the, the good doctor have to say? Shepard, remember our agreement? We'd open a bottle of Cerise Ice Brandy every year, and it's my turn to buy. But well, it hasn't been a year yet. <laughs> yes, well, something tells me we won't have the chance a few months from now, so... Indulge my impatience. Yes, you grab Let's the drink. Glasses. I'll open the bottle. And Jeff says, Jack, Jacqueline, subject zero. Sorry, but it's man to me. I'd like to keep my Admiral Winky. Oh, Shepard, you know, I just realized you've never called me by my first name. Which well, is? Of you. And I never will. You are Commander Shepard, hero of the Citadel, conqueror of the Collectors, savior of the galaxy. Using your oh, first name that's... just disrespects everyone you're fighting for, you get a little... alive or mm. gone. Yeah, a little bit of a problem with your iPad going through your body. That makes body. no sense. Consider it a lady's prerogative, then. Come. Let's have a toast. Uh, to you, Doctor. To a woman I respect and admire. I'm lucky to have you with me, Doctor. And to you. It's my great honor to share this journey with you, Commander. And good fortune to us all. I've learned my lesson this time. Even a Krogan couldn't match you drink for drink. <laughs> Which is not true of me. I, I, I can't match anyone for. Yeah. Anyway, um, yeah. The, the let's see. Yeah. Last time she was. Uh, yeah, she was out cold. And okay. Let's see. Anything else? Actually, yeah. Let's let's see if any Ash has got anything quick quick to say before we go. Ashley. Hey. You... A little busy right now. Of course. Of course. Who the fuck would want to talk to their fucking Commander Shepard? Who wants to talk to their Shepard? Fuck that. Who, right? Right? Fuck that. Why, why would you want to do that? Fucking dicks. <laughs> what is Bork Bork to be? Don't. Baby, don't fork, fork, don't fork, fork. <laughs> I, <get laughs> I got that just at the last second. That's really good. <laughs> uh, what am, what, am I, what am I doing? Oh yeah, right. I'm going to the galaxy map and look, looking at the space things. Let's well, back out of the orbits. Oh shit, huh? Okay, does anybody in the chat remember a drink called Orbits? Years ago, they're totally off the market now. You don't, they don't exist. You might be able to get them on eBay for for like some exuberant price, and they probably probably are not safe to drink. But yeah, um, yeah, it was not very successful. But man, I loved the shit. The 
the two asteroids spinning around. I thought they were wiggling around like worms. E. What's that? Uh, what are my thoughts on the Sega Dreamcast? Um, I don't really have many thoughts in terms of the Sega Dreamcast, except that I heard... I got an itch on my back. Um, except that I heard it actually had a really great um, set of games on it, although I never earned one. I never. Sorry, I never had one, rather. Was it... Was it... I remember the name. Uh, was it a little a liquid uh, packet thing? Uh, no, not exactly. Orbitz was a drink. It was like, it was a clear drink, and it was just kind of a, you know, kind of a, just a sweet drink. But it had these little colored uh, jelly orbs floating all through it, and it wasn't, they wouldn't just all float to the top. It was just like, wherever they were, they were just suspended there. It was so cool. It was, it was such a cool drink, and it was, it was tasty, and it was, I liked the little orbs. But, um, I think it was spelled... O R B I T Z. I'm pretty sure it ended with a Z. Okay, what is this one? Okay, so I can't land on this one. Okay, so this is the kind of explory type one, uh, or the explory type one, not the landy type one. So, um, Aquitus. Um, it's very, very close to Aquitus, uh, home of the famous Iron Canyons. Uh, Aquitus uh, has um, radish iron oxide dust, uh, hematite. Um, hovered, uh, sorry, covered much of its surface and significant blue cobalt uh, deposits uh, that freckle the terrain. Turian explorers have discovered hot springs in the polar ice caps, heated by magma on, on the uh, planet's crust. In a strange combination of science and hucksterism, a small facility exports water from these springs, which is bottled and sold as uh, having medical properties. The funds are then used to maintain a research station which has discovered some fossil evidence that Aquitus uh, once harbored microscopic life based on um, deoxo... deoxer... okay, taking a second to pronounce this word correctly. Deoxyribonucleic acids uh, in these springs. Yeah, that was def that was hard to say. Um, I was gonna say, Dreamcast was one of the b best lineups uh, for a failed system ever. Uh, it literally just died because of the PS2. Yes, yes, I have heard that. Um, and one, it was awesome. Uh, best best version of Soul Calibur one. Really. Um, sometimes imagine what would happen uh, if Sega hadn't stopped making consoles. Yeah, I think I think of that too because a lot of the times they were ahead of the curve, and then somebody else kind of just stomped them out. Um, Spiritual successor to Dreamcast. Um, what was it? Uh, okay, do 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 do. Yeah. Um, Oh, whoops, I didn't scan the planet. What am I doing? Oh, wait, I can't scan the planet. I just read it. Oh, just for the sake of reading it. Oh. But wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You don't do that in my ear. Wait a minute. Why is it highlighted? If I can't scan the planet... If I can't scan the planet, I can't land on it. Why is there a thing highlighting it? Doesn't make any friggin' sense. Why did it bring me here? Reapers eluded. That's stupid. That's why. Just, just why. Faster than light jump successful. You know, fine, fine. I didn't, didn't want to do your little, little mission anyway. Fine. All right. Well, let's see what's in the Nimbus cluster. Okay, and then after that, I, I, don't, I don't give a shit about the side quests. It's, it's, uh, this is the extent with which I, I care about side quests. Signal confirmed. Oh, hello. What is this? Oh, just some record ra wreckage. Investigate a sorry colony. Oh, no. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. They can't be talking about Thessia. No. 
If it's set, oh. Huh. If it's not Thessia, then we got an interesting mission ahead of us. Aha! Ooh, it's another landy type mission. Okay. Lessus, investigate Asari colony. Got it. Yes, I'm gonna land on the bitch. All right. The <laughs> Lessus is in an, <laughs> an unpopular garden world. Uh, with characteristics just outside of the comfort zone of uh, its Asari population. Its gravity is uh, a little too high, its diseases uh, a little too virulent, and the soil uh, inhospitable for uh, growing food. Well, that just sounds like a shithole to me. The, <laughs> uh, further inf information is uh, difficult to come by. The Asari, uh, the Asari government is uncharacteristically silent about let's just hmm uh normally a garden world uh settled so long ago would be highly populated but uh little light population uh it can be seen oh this is night tide oh excuse me all right colony founded in uh 473 a.d uh population unknown capital mira what is the temperature how hot is this planet Let's see, where is it? Temperature, 38 degrees Celsius. Yeah, that is hot as shit. Okay. <laughs> I like that. Pluto is still a planet. Fight me. <laughs> and, you know, and on that note, like, like, I mean, I understand that it's not, it's not a planet. I know they say it's not a planet, but... I mean, to me, it just seems kind of odd. Like, I mean, unless I'm missing something, it seems to be that they just arbitrarily said, you know, oh, it's too small, therefore it's not a planet. But that just, that just seems weird to me. If it's if it, you know, if it's a giant mass that orbits the sun and it's not acting like a moon, I, I don't understand why it's not a planet just because it's a little too small. But anyway, um, I remember joking about uh, Bioware redeeming themselves if they made. Uh, sorry, nudist colony DLC. Sadly, with their current management, uh, the dream seems further off than it ever was. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Geez, no. With their their fucking. You know what? Just just for that, I'm gonna, just gonna. You know, I'm just gonna bring Edie along, and since she has like the most <laughs> triggering outfit for the for the current team of Bioware, fuck those guys. Um, so yeah, bring them, and yeah, I guess it only makes sense to bring Liara since you know it's. Sorry, shit. Um, I was gonna say, um, was it they call it a dwarf planet now? Um, it's not really politically <laughs> correct, but <laughs> but they prefer they prefer little people planets. <laughs> That's that is quite excellent. <laughs> All right, and uh, oh shit! I has it really been that long since I used Edie? Damn. Jeez, I remember she was like the only one I was using for a while. She was she was coming on all the missions. Uh, health shield bonus by twenty percent. Power damage. Yup. Um, use weapon damage. Nope. Tech pet. Yup. Uh, shield uh, decrease squad power attack damage by two. Hmm. Hmm. Actually, that's a little tough. Decrease shield recharge. Oh fuck! That shield recharge. Get in there. Get in there. Incinerate. Yes! Might as well upgrade and incinerate. Uh, increase damage to frozen and shield targets? Nah. Da uh, armor targets? Yes! We'll do that. Uh, and, uh, really? Jeez, yeah, I guess it has been a long time since I've used used Liara. Increase recharge speed by singularity? Yes! Oh, yes! And, let's see, warp or warp ammo definitely warp yeah I don't find warp ammo to be well I mean I've never really used it that much and I've done just fine through the playthroughs um, is it... they should make an Atari <laughs> they should make an Atari nudist colony it's all sprites from the uh, Atari porn games that AVN AVGN covered yeah yeah isn't that crazy isn't, isn't that crazy that there there were there were porn games on the Atari and they're so bad. So bad. <laughs> um, 
Increased damage by 30%. Increased force damage, impact radius, recovery. Sorry about the yawning. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, sure, damage. All of the damage. Increased weapon damage, take it. No, uh, damage, yes. Yeah, let's make it as damaging as possible. Recharge speed, uh, increased damage to bearers, yes. Yes, we want that. Was that, uh, let's see, gold coin. Uh, and remember, uh, uh, mine, mine for her, her, mine her hair oh yeah that guy yeah the fucking um, uh, yeah the, yeah the most the most racist game developer to ever be yeah um, basically like I've seen Sunday cartoons with more titillating than, than their than their schlock uh, that that didn't come uh, come out right <laughs> yeah I um yeah, I, I yeah, I remember they were trying to sell it. They were just like, "Oh yeah, the, the game, yeah, Mass Effect Andromeda. It's got it's got banging, and the, the banging's pretty good." And I'm just like, first of all, if you're looking for banging, there's other sources for that. But se secondly, I, I I did I did out of curiosity be like, "Okay, I'm probably not the, gonna get this game. Let's see what the romance scenes are like." Um, not eventful. It's just like I was expecting a bit more for the M rating. That I just pick up any information on the mission, Lyra? I did, and I now understand why High Command wanted to hide it. We're headed to an Ardat Yakshi monastery. Oh, Ardat Yakshi, like Morinth. Morinth chose to be a killer. These Ardat Yakshi isolated themselves to avoid that. This is not a little mission. But it doesn't mean they're harmless. Their urge to feed can be powerful. That's why High Command sent in commandos to investigate the monastery's distress signal. That is less than encouraging. What were the commandos' orders? If there was a chance the Ardat Yakshi could break loose, the commandos were to purge the monastery. Purge? You mean destroy? They would have brought heavy explosives with them, yes. Okay, so before we continue with this conversation, um, to clarify, when they say Ardat Yakshi, um... Basically, that, that refers to the, these Asari that have this kind of defect where... Um, Jesus, is com complicated. But the, basically, the, the Asari mating ritual, um, besides a physical interaction, there is also a mental one. Um, like, it, they kind of go through space and their eyes go black and everything. But the, <laughs> um, the Arnak Yachi, they actually basically short the person's brain out and they kill the person when they mate them and it's like they, they can't help it the person just the other person dies but then they also kind of obtain power when they do that and they're also it's also like physically addictive for them so basically they're space age succubi essentially um also in terms of what you're saying about uh the lack of uh titillating contact in mass effect andromeda Edie's suit Edie standing still in her spandex suit is more is more titillating than anything Andromeda has to offer. <laughs> Morinth was dangerous, but are the Ardat Yakshi this big of a threat? Morinth was just hitting her stride. Ardat Yakshi who kill leave behind astronomical body counts. It's why they can never be free, and why they're such a great source of shame to the Asari. That's why High Command won't rest until this place is destroyed. They'd never risk a single Ardat Yakshi getting loose. Bombs are uh, bombs are a last resort. Don't assume anything. Maybe the Ardat Yakshi sent out the distress call. If the Asari want us to destroy this place, I need to know what happened. Agreed. Once we give a report to High Command, they'll stop wasting lives here. Okay, I will extend this episode a little bit just because we're starting the mission. Kind of seems weird to stress. end the episode right now. Uh, Final Sari Commandos. This C-111 Skyline shuttle is exuding heat, indicating recent use. Observant. Was it, uh... Was it on another subject I finally started, uh... uh actually started watching Rick and Morty. Nice, man. Nice. Welcome to the... Whoops! 
didn't mean to do that. Um, yeah, man. W w uh, welcome to the club. Are, are you liking it? I uh, I love the show. It's one of my favorites. It's one of my favorite shows on TV. Although, and actually, I'm not sure if this will be relevant before this before this episode is released onto YouTube and BitChute. But I really hope that Adult Swim gets off their ass and renews season four. To prevent entry or escape, I wonder. I don't know why they're dragging their heels on that. Do they have a crippling fear of success and money? What the fuck is wrong with them? <laughs> oh yes, this one. <laughs> Are you a high enough IQ to appreciate it? Yeah, because... What was that? Vocalization exceeds a sorry vocal cord range. As do those. Yeah. Yeah, we're... Yeah, gonna be facing those things. Holy shit. <laughs> um... What was that? Stay sharp. I can I kind of like how they did something. That was my fault, sorry. Of course. I kind of like how they found a way to get a bit of almost like a bit of an aliens vibe in this in this mission. Was it I watched an episode where they were uh, at the Mad Max world early. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's a good one. That's one of that's one of the newer season ones. Oh, oh excuse me. This was the commando's captain. It seems they gave their lives fighting the Reapers. This monastery's out of the way. What do the Reapers want with Arda Yakshi? Anything useful? A floor plan marked with a nav point location for a bomb. It's planted inside the monastery's great hall. So the commandos started the purge after all. Seems drastic. Arda Yakshi or not. Evacuating this place would have saved a lot of lives. If there's no survivors, let's get to the Great Hall and set off that bomb. Oh man, things are gonna get a little hectic on this mission. The, uh... The Banshees, as they're known as? Yeah, they are not to be fucked with. They are my least favorite enemy to fight in this game. I'll, t I'll take I'll take two broods over one banshee any day. Very good. I almost didn't hear you. Samara. It has been some time, Shepard. You are a most welcome sight. Nice to see her the again. The here runs deep. I assume you're here on your own, Justicar. Perhaps for something special? You are correct. Two of my daughters live here. And I have come for them. Unfortunately, the Reapers had already infested this place by the time I arrived. Are your children a threat? You met me hunting down your other Ardat Yakshi daughter. Are these ones just as dangerous? Valer and Rila have followed the monastery's rules ever since they arrived. They've shown no inclination toward violence. And you're here to save them? They are my responsibility. And it's one that cannot be abandoned, even as our galaxy crumbles. What's that? Um... So, uh, so, Nathan, uh, do you think that an Asari nudist colony would eventually be overrun by Ardak Yachi, seeing as how inbreeding tends to bring out the defect? Um, it's a good question. It, uh, it certainly could lead to that. It, it definitely could go in that direction. Um, uh, we'll help research. Let's go together. Maybe your daughters can tell us why the Reapers hit this place. I suspect they will have much to tell us. It 
has been centuries since I last saw them. Ooh. We're out of time. We'll meet again. I will draw these creatures off. Wait. Let's go. Yeah, that, uh, that, that screech, man, that just, ooh, it just, it just runs through me whenever I see, whenever I hear that. But, uh, I think we're going to be seeing some more of that here in just a moment. That was fun, but I'll have to pause it there. If you enjoy my content and want to see more, do some of the stuff that the screen is telling you, and check out my other stuff. If you want to see me play live, check out the links in the description. Come talk to me, maybe even play with me. That is it for this episode, and I will see you in the next game.